Okay, y'all. It's Sunday morning. Uh, we on the th we on the third one already. Uh, it's uh, what ten thirty? Uh, he had to get a ride to the house. Uh, uh, I think the li uh, he said a lift. Uh, he called uh, he called Uber and Uber was wanting like I mean like nineteen dollars or twenty nine dollars or something like that. But he ended up getting a getting a lift promotional thing they got with Lyft uh, for like $14 or $13 something like that so that's a pretty good deal really uh, you know he didn't have to work today but you know I'm trying to trying to you know it's the weekend so we're pretty much doing work today and tomorrow uh, you know yesterday and today to make up uh, well to give us some free time during the week so we can deal with his car uh, because there's no sense in and you know getting the car over to the shop today when the mechanics can't look at it until tomorrow so let's go on and my thinking is let's go on and and get everything done that we need to get done and, and get a piece of mondays done so we can uh you know uh, not have to deal with working and the car uh, all at the same time so uh yeah uh, i got a tree job i need to go look at i don't know when uh, I'm going to try to go look at it. I may drop Zach off today and go on up there and look at it. I don't know if that's something I'm going to want to do or not. We'll just have to see. I'll kick back. Because I've been yicky yacking for the last couple videos, so I figured I'd get a little bit of mold footage today. Uh, yeah, let me put my damn straw boss hat on. Uh, I really like this hat, man. I just didn't want to get it too dirty on the first day out. Uh, I used to have a bunch of these, man. I ain't had none in a few years. Uh, but yeah, so Zach did great today, man. Great headspace. Well, you know, he's not, he can't go nowhere. You know, you know, back when, uh, back when dude got a car, you know, you know, we knew then that, well, you know, it gives you a lot of freedom when you have a ride. And, you know, sometimes it can take you places that you would not normally go. And so, by not having a ride, sometimes it can uh, make it where you can't spend the money that you would spend if you did have a ride. So... This week, dude's not had a ride, and uh, and he's working great. He's working hard. Uh, you know, he not doesn't seem as uh, sleepy and stuff. I'm just being honest. Today he was on point all day long. You know. He's on point. You know, thinking about what he's doing and all that. See, that's a big deal, man. You know. 
So we're gonna try to get the truck. The, we're gonna try to get the car fixed this week. So I mean, at the end of the day, he's gotta have a ride. So, uh, but us working today, I may be able to. You know, the good thing about being the owner of a business like mine is I can move things around a little bit uh, because, well, we're getting toward the end of the season and things are not as hardcore as they were three weeks ago. So, uh, you know, uh, that's the reality of it. And I know a lot of landscapers that are, you know, lawn maintenance guys like me, they're, they're, if they're in my general area, they're probably seeing a lot of the, a lot of stuff's not growing as hardcore as it once was. You know, maybe not, but to, to us, it, it is. So we we have been, you know, usually I, I account for at least a rain day a week. So I'm gonna go home, eat my Sammy, jump in the pool, and uh, relax the rest of the day. And then this afternoon, uh, evening, I will uh, work on the calendar for next week. Uh, and I already kind of know. What we got going on? So, yeah, I mean, that's what we want to be, man. We want to make sure that uh, we're earning every day, and we are. But, uh, and we're banking every day, man. I mean, you know. We didn't work but a few hours today, but uh, like I said earlier, it opens us up to be able to have a day this week where we can get that car over to the shop. You know, really, I wouldn't be worried about this car, man. That's his problem. Well, it is, but it, you can see that it's become my problem too because of uh, we don't have a ride to work, and I'm not willing to pick up and drop off guys come to work every day. I'm just not willing to do that, man. I don't care what everybody else does. I'm not going to do that. I'll do it if I have to for the interim. But see, I see a way out of me doing that. And that's fixing that car. That's my way out. So we're going to be proactive in doing that. But I'll tell you, I'm getting used to the, the rake thing on the, on the new mower, you know, for the deck. And It's pretty sweet, man. It really is. Uh, it's a subtle difference, but it's, but it's it's very noticeable to me. Uh, when you got positive raking, it's like this. It throws the grass a lot better. When you got negative rake like this, well, it cuts it. it, it, it if you got it on, if you got it on three. And, and, and you're cutting like this, right? And then you change the angle to where it's cutting like this. Well, the three is, I mean, it, it, it's a lot lower. That makes sense. It's, it, it's at least a quarter, a quarter difference, if not more. Uh, so if you're cutting something on a 2.75 or three, one way, if you're going to have to either raise it or lower it a quarter to get the same cut height, uh, you know, according to which way you got it. If you got it like this, it tends to cut a lot lower than when you got it like this. I mean, it ain't, it's a lot lower. I mean, it's, 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 it's a pretty significant difference. <laughs> Cutting it like this, I believe, well, the back of the deck, uh, I don't really understand the physics behind it, but it, it, it seems more true, right? But it does make a difference, and it is something that I use on well, probably on 60 or 70 percent of the properties that I do, especially the big, wet, nasty stuff. It's just what I'm noticing, you know, after having it a month. 
I got about a hundred hours on that machine already, man. So it's a beast, man. Tell you what, these freaking X Mark mowers, man, they are really something. I was, I was watching Zach, you know, on the other one, on the uh, on the twenty five horsepower one a while ago, and man. These mowers are amazing, man. They really are. They're, they're so tough and so well built. And they cut great, man. I mean, they really do. But, you know, they cost a lot of money. They better do all that, you know? I'm just saying, man. So I wanted to tell y'all something. So I got a problem with a customer. Uh, and it's not a regular customer. I did it the other day when me and Zach wasn't working and, and I got video of it. I haven't, I haven't posted it because I've been too busy, uh, you know, um, with other, other stuff. So I went over and did the property and I got video and I'll probably, I'll probably upload that video just to show you guys. So a buddy of mine, well, eh, not really a buddy, but you know, I mean, He's a buddy until he owes me. That's, that, I guess that's the best way to put it. So, I went down there, you know, down here the other day. So this is the property uh, that I was talking about. Uh, I mean, it's not that bad out yet, uh, but we'll start, we're gonna be spraying this ditch. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be going into that ditch every time uh we need something over here uh it doesn't look i mean it's not that bad really uh it just told me look man just cut it and figure it out and send me an invoice see it's good to have relationships with people that know people that know other people that may contact you because i don't really have to worry about selling myself you know uh i just want to kind of walk around and make sure that we are uh you know able to do the job like yeah which y'all see uh it's not that bad really man i'll be honest man not it's not, not nearly as bad as i thought it was going to be uh, I want it, I mean, I hope they got some running water over here so I can mix up spray, because the spray is going to be the big thing over here today. Uh, yeah. That's one of those mini splits right there, y'all, that I was thinking about for my building right there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go on and knock this out real quick. It'll probably take me an hour or so. Uh, how big is that, I wonder? How many tonnage is that? I don't know, maybe I'll look at that when I get home. Yeah, I like that, man. I might end up getting something like that for my building. But see, this is a block building, man. It's always gonna be easier to cool a block building than a metal building. And it's a lot of shade too behind here. So, you know, uh, yeah, I don't really see a whole lot of Hardcore shit over here, dude, really. Dude, this is gonna be easy, man. We'll get in that ditch as close as we can. Uh, the spray in that ditch is gonna be mandatory. We're gonna we're gonna cover we're gonna load that we're gonna load that damn thing.
when we was off on Thursday, and I went on and knocked it out because he'd been calling me saying he's fixing to rent this place down here for his business. And uh, I'll roll the clip and y'all will see. So now that y'all see that I've done it, let's just go on and skip to that part because the B, I got video all throughout the whole time I was there. So now that y'all see that I've done it, well, it's been what four days and he ain't paid me yet so the so that afternoon well that morning when i got over there to the property i called him he answered the phone hey man i'm like yeah i'm down here at this property man uh i'm probably gonna charge you know 120 bucks right to get it in to get it in order and spray and and get it to where you know we can see daylight and then i'll probably charge you about 70 bucks a pop he said okay man do it right so i didn't think nothing about it so i did it and i spent about i probably spent about an hour over there okay well i got done i texted him said hey man so how, how, how do you want to pay do you want to pay venmo cash app what you know no answer all right so you know i didn't think nothing about it so uh, that after that evening i went home i was at home and i'm going over everything that i need to do for friday and you know and and, and here comes you know well this keeps popping up because it hasn't been paid so i call i call no answer i text no answer i'll pass the check Put it down you know Dude ain't answering the text or nothing, you know. I'm like, man, what a pain in the ass, right? Because it's not a normal, regular customer that I deal with, right? I know him, and I think he'll eventually pay, but there's something about getting handled that I don't like. You didn't tell me any of that before we started. So I texted him yesterday afternoon, and I said, look, man, uh, you're not responding to my text. It's going to make me go uh, down there and, uh, you know, I, I said, you know, it's a new, let me tell y'all, so it's a new property he's going to be renting. It's not to live, it's to run a business out of, okay? And he's already got a lease and everything. And um, so I'm trying, I'm trying to get my money. That's at this point, he ain't responding for two days. Okay. Now, now we're fixing to crank it up a notch, right? Let's get on it. Let's get to second and third gear instead of trying to keep being nice. Fuck that. I ain't going to keep being nice when you're not even responding. But you damn sure responded before I went down there, right? So I texted him yesterday and I said, hey, man, uh, so uh, if you're not going to respond to the text messages or pay me, then you're going to force me to put a lien on that property. And I will. I'll do it just, just for principle, y'all. I don't care what it costs. I'll do it for that particular job and the way he's handling me. I'm a, I'll do that. And you know, uh, whoever has to pay has to pay, but, uh, I'm going to call the owner of the property. Well, Ray, that's wrong, man. No, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to, we're going to squeeze in and make him pay me. I, I ain't talking about the owner. I'm talking about the renter and the landlord is going to be like, well, damn, if, if this guy's having a hard time getting his money out of this dude for, you know, for the lawn, $120 for the lawn care. I'm, I'm going to catch hell getting my 3000 a month out of him for rent. And he is going to catch hell. He will. And it ain't that the dude won't pay me, but, you know, the, the mere fact that you're not responding at all, that makes me, uh, well, that, that, that makes me even more. If you're broke, say I'm broke. If you ain't got the money, say, I can I pay you on Friday? If you ain't, don't know how you're going to pay me, well, you shouldn't have got me to go in there and do it. Right? That's the reality of it. And, uh, but by you not saying nothing, okay, check. I'm going to assume that you're trying to beat me, and then I'm going to pull all stops out to get that little change. It ain't number some change to me, and, uh, but it's a principle that will drive me freaking up to the courthouse. I'll go, I'll spend, I'll take a day off work just to take care of that. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to call the owner. So 
after I said that, I'll call the owner and I'll put a lien on that property. And I'll, oh, he, he texted me right back. He said, well, I didn't know that people wanted to get paid right after they did the work. You know, I said, well, you run a business. Don't you want people to pay you before they leave with your product? You never, you never said that, 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 you know, I mean, that's what I'm telling him. So you never said that you could pay me on Friday or whatever, you know, if you don't tell me nothing, then I'm assuming you're paying me at time of service. You want me to go down there and do it, so I'm wanting the money. We, you know, this ain't, you're not a regular customer or nothing. You, I mean, you know, we're not, we don't, we don't, you know. So, he says, why? So he gets an attitude then, right? He said, well, well, I'll be over there at my buddy's place over there, close to your house. I'll just come by there and, and drop the uh, the freaking money in your in your mailbox, the cash in your mailbox. And he's mad now, right? Thinking he done flipped the script on me. Mad because you owe me and you ain't responding, so I'm going to have to get nasty with you, you know? But you mad at me. Hell no, man. Hell no. So, I said, okay, that sounds good, man. Just uh, let me know when you drop it in the mailbox so I'll go out there and get it. He didn't drop it in the mailbox, y'all. See, that's what I'm talking about. I texted him, and he ain't responding. I got something for his ass. I got something for his bitch ass, for real. He ain't gonna like it. He ain't gonna like it at all. You're gonna call me, you know, and have me go do a property that you're fixing to rent and now you don't want now you want to play kitty games about paying me i'm gonna get paid one way or the other and at this point i'm so angry about it that the other it don't even matter because if i do that it's going to cost me money and then i'm going to want to get more money and normally i wouldn't do that right normally i wouldn't you know if it was some little old lady that just didn't have the money to pay me I, I ain't doing nothing like that. But this guy, I will do that too. And I will call that landlord. And I will, uh, well, I'll set him up. That's what I'll do. Uh, I will bust him out to the landlord of what kind of tenant he's fitting to get in bed with. All over what, $120? All over not responding to text or answering the phone when you owe me and you told me to go do it and I did it as a you know as a kind gesture and now you don't want to pay me well you want to play kitty games with the pay oh no 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 I ain't doing that man but I don't normally have this kind of problems because I don't normally work, uh, work outside my customer base you know and, and this is why, right here, what you're seeing right now. That's why. Because I'm going to chase that money. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get that money. Have y'all ever had anybody do y'all like that? And, you know, I like the dude, you know. But I ain't going to do business with I, I, I'm not going to do business with him. But anyway, y'all, uh, I'm going to pick up my Sammy. Go home. And, uh, you know, chill. Chill out, man, for the rest of the day. This is Ray, I'll kick back.